This is Tom in Florida, and I'd like to wish Rudy from the Outdoor Adventures, their family, and their listening audience a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I'd like to give a special, special thanks to Rudy for making my Christmas season a whole lot better. Thank you and Merry Christmas to you all. Welcome, welcome to the Outdoor Adventures. Here on this channel, we play in snow sometimes. Sometimes we barbecue. And look at that. We got everything ready to go. Got the grill firing up right here. You guys see that smoking? Yeah, we got a little bit of a fire going. Let me put some more wood on there before it uh, goes out. And of course, we have to have somebody park right there that is cleaning the uh, sidewalks over there. But yeah, we are firing up the grill. We're gonna be barbecuing here. I think we're gonna be barbecuing some chicken, uh, chicken here today. Uh, not the whole chicken, but uh, you know, some of the legs and thighs and whatever you wanna call it. But yeah, beautiful day other than that. We had a little bit of, I guess, snow you could say overnight. But other than that, it's been a, all right day, just wet and slushy everything, but other than that, it's a beautiful day. It's not cold whatsoever. Don't let that uh, white stuff behind me there uh, think that it's super cold over here. It really isn't. Anyways, I am going to go back inside and uh, maybe put some seasoning on the uh, chicken. Yeah, why don't I take you guys with me while I do that, and then uh, we'll season up the chicken real good, hopefully and uh, get them on the grill here in a bit. Today I'm going to hold this so that way I don't accidentally turn it off again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, the same kind of uh, grill salt that I showed you guys the other day to, uh, that I use for my beef ribs as well. But I also have another kind right here that I don't think I've ever shown you guys. This is also South American salt, especially designed for chicken, as you guys can see right there. And uh, you can actually get this here in Canada at uh, like Paraguayan uh, stores, like they have like stores that actually sell Paraguayan stuff. And so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and season these bad boys up real good. We usually do maybe two per person or something like that. So, yeah, anyways, let me get them all grilled up and I'll show you once it's done. Time to go check on the meat. I got it all seasoned up and put it on the grill. I know I didn't show you guys, but hey, that's how I look. Perfect, perfect temperatures, just the way I like it. Just be, just the way I love it. Yeah, look at that. It's starting to look kind of nice, I got to say. Look at that. I don't want to have this open too long because uh, chicken has got a tendency of uh, wanting to burn or leak grease, I guess, onto the uh, charcoal. And then next thing you know, we got a fire going in there. So yeah, we don't want that, right? At least not me, but uh, yeah. Wife and Jessica just came home from Winnipeg. They, uh, yeah, they had an appointment over there, so. Anyways, let's go see what they got to say. I think Jessie is taking a nap. What do you guys think? I think she is trying to kind of take a nap here. Yeah, I know you are. You just had a nice bath. Now I feel good. Now it's time to relax, eh? I know, I know. You'll probably uh, chit chat her here in a little bit, right? I know you probably will. Anyways, let's see. Let's see, what do we got going on over here? I don't know, that young lady over there. Uh-huh, I know, right? Uh-huh, what do we got boiling here? Just water. Yeah. Oh. Hot water, you get hot water and chicken. Hot water and chicken, huh? Right. Okay, 
No problem. <laughs> We're going to be cooking some yuca here. So, anyways, I got to go check on the meat again. Make sure uh, we don't uh, spoil our nice meat, right? This is definitely starting to look like eatable. Yes, I think I'm going to be uh, having me some awesome supper here in a bit. Oh, I'm telling you. It is getting closer and closer to that time where I'm going to have me some nice supper. Oh, I'm hungry too. I'm going to have a little bit early supper tonight. Uh, reason being is uh, we got volleyball tonight, right? So we had volleyball yesterday afternoon too, but uh, Monday evening we got volleyball, uh, men's volleyball. So it's only for men. Yesterday was family volleyball. So everybody can come and play volleyball. But today man only so yeah wife is uh making ready some uh uh well salads and all that stuff and I'm, that's my job over there right and i'm thinking i'm pretty good at it too so hey why not brag about it a bit right <laughs> time to have a look and see what that looks like Ooh, my goodness got a salad already Caesar salad, and we got some yuca over here. Look at that. Nice. I think we're going to have us an awesome, awesome supper. Just going to put that away. Yeah. And Diego is gone off with his friend again. So I guess he's going to miss out on a good barbecue. Oh, well. More left for me, right? Ho, 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 ho. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. It's me, Joe, from JBW Vlogs. I just want to wish Rudy and his family and everybody else a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Talk to y'all later. Right now we're inside, but uh, we are getting ready to hit the road. And uh, before I do, I wanted to show you guys, we set up our Christmas tree. Uh, some of the lights don't work anymore, so uh, we decided to just leave it off this year, I guess. But at least we got a Christmas tree ready. Because it's getting closer and closer to Christmas, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to go to Winnipeg and maybe do some Christmas shopping. And probably go see if we can uh, maybe go to Fort White and see if we can find some birds. It's kind of cloudy today. We'll see how the weather is. But I wanted to leave yesterday already on a trip and we don't have no loads. And so far we still have no loads. So I figured, you know what, let's head on over to Winnipeg and... Do some Christmas shopping and uh, all that good stuff. So that's hit the road. We have arrived, guys. Yes, indeed. We're going to go ahead and go on this uh, trail right here. As you guys can see, right up here. Ho, ho, ho. We want to go see the bisons today. I don't know if you guys are up for bison uh, scenery today, but we're going to go for a nice little walk over here and see what we can find, right? I got my uh, big camera with me today and uh, it's been a while since we gone out and to see if we could actually find some pictures of birds or take some pictures of birds or whatever so or different animals so we're gonna go for a little walk and see what we can find they have some bird feeders up here in certain areas and uh, so we'll see it's a little chilly out there today and a little bit of a wind, but a few clouds here and there. But other than that, sun is trying to shine through, but not really having too much luck, I guess, as of right now. But oh well, we'll go for a nice little walk and we'll see what we come up with, right? I have found them, guys. You see that? A bunch of bisons over there. I know it's kind of dark right now. Yeah, look at that. And they're right behind these houses over here. I don't know how people live here, but I guess they don't make a whole heck of a lot of noise. Let me see, I think there's more of them over there, but they got these, got these hay bolts up here for them to feed off of. And uh, I've never shown you guys these guys before, but, and it's as far as I can zoom in too, but Oh, well, I took a few pictures of them, and I'll show you guys how far away I am. There we go. So now you guys can see a little bit. 
And it is kind of difficult with the sun not really being out there too much right now. Oh, I wanted to go for that one. There we go. Let's see if we can capture that one half decent. The sun is trying to come out. Really, really difficult trying to stay stable with the camera, right? But anyways, I figured I'd go here first and show you guys around a little bit. And then we'll go see if we can find any birds. I think I found them. Oh, come on, focus, focus. It's always tough to try and focus in on them, but... Oh, there he is. Yeah, it's hard to focus on it. It's not enough sunshine, but there's actually a woodpecker right there. You guys see it? I know you guys can kind of see him, but... Yeah, he's hiding from me. He's trying to anyways. There we go. We're at this uh, bird feeder right here. And uh, you get to see a few chickadees here, but other than that, it's kind of really tough to try and focus in on them, right? Let's see if it will actually focus on that. Yeah, let's see, hopefully it will eventually start focusing on it. No, not so lucky, eh? Maybe a little bit, but not too bad, I guess. Yeah, there was a couple of big uh, squirrels or raccoons or whatever they were out here but right now I don't see them anywhere they're hiding from us that's all right we've had a good time well I have made it home guys uh, we did finally get a short short little trip and uh, I'm just sitting around the kitchen table here and I wanted to show you guys this stuff right here I'm not sure if you guys know what that is but uh, I think you guys can figure it out. Uh -huh. Put some nice seasoning salt on it. This stuff right here. And uh, so we're gonna be uh, throwing this stuff on the grill here in a little bit. And uh, have us an awesome supper. I think it's about time that we do something like that. You know, a short trip uh, causes us to celebrate, right? I don't know what, but you know, good supper anyways. Here you guys can see a little bit. They got all these Christmas tree lit up. Ho ho ho, that, that looks real nice, especially with them really purple ones over there. They got another one over there. Looks real, real nice. Anyways, we wanna go ahead and take some pictures of it and see what it looks like. I know they got lights here. Christmas lights, yeah. Look at all them purple lights that they got here. They had like a big party here earlier and uh, now it's all done with everybody is left so i said you know what let me go in here and take some pictures i don't know if that one is even gonna want to focus on it yeah, that looks not too bad to me it looks beautiful up here you see the red one in there yep that looks gorgeous they got a really really nice purple one over here so let me go through here a little bit and show you it is kind of cold out here I do have my camera set up over here but uh, it almost looks like a blue one but to my eyes that's purple yeah I don't know why it's looking bluish on this camera but it looks completely different in my to my eyes but anyways, we're gonna go see if we can take more pictures of these guys. Gotten to a Michigan rest area here, and I just said, you know what? Let me go for a nice little walk and show you guys around a little bit. You guys see that little light tower or whatever you wanna call it up there? I think that looks pretty cool. This is the uh, first rest area when you come through Chicago into Michigan. Well, we first go through Indiana a little bit, and then you, uh, hit Michigan, so you guys can read that if you want. Pause it if you need to. Oh, there's another interesting sign right there. It's always kinda good to show you guys some of this stuff, right? Maybe zoom in on that a little bit closer so you guys can see it. And this one too. Let me uh, zoom in on that and you guys can read it if you want, if you're interested in doing that. <clears throat> Anyways, we got a nice little playground right there And I figured I would show you guys around a little bit. Why not, right? Nice for a uh, nice little rest 
especially if a family is traveling or whatever, take your kids out and have them lose a little bit of the energy so you guys can have peace in the car, right? <laughs> Anyways, looks like a fairly old lighthouse or whatever you want to call this. And I said, you know what? That looks kind of interesting. Why not uh, go in here and show you guys a little bit? There is a little bit of a... I wouldn't call it lake, but a pond or whatever you want to call it up there as well. So, got the interstate right there. <clears throat> yep. Let's go see if there's any kind of history on this, uh, on this light tower here. Let's see. What do we got? In, Mich in Michigan, we leave a lighthouse on for you. Over a hundred historic lighthouses all right well that's pretty cool you guys can read that if you like and then uh yeah you got a little bit of a little bit of a pond right over there i don't know if you guys, yeah you guys should be able to see it there uh, not frozen yet but everything is pretty dry over here but anyways i'm just killing a little bit of time my uh, delivery is until one o'clock this afternoon and I had an extra hour to spare. So I said, you know what? Let me go for a little bit of a walk and show you guys around a little bit and see what, uh, you know, what we have on the outdoors, right? Anyways, I think I'm gonna go back to the truck. It is not too cold out here, but there is, it is right around freezing. But anyways, I'm gonna go back to the truck and uh, Probably hit the road again. Maybe get to the customer a little bit early. And then uh, hopefully get my stuff off. Yeah, see, there we go. Now somebody's calling me, so let's see who it is. Yeah, I'm Scotty, and I'm here with Rudy. We had a nice dinner tonight, and I just want to say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all his subscribers. And I hope you all enjoy his channel, The Outdoors Adventures. Have a good year next year. It's time to turn that camera back on. Guess who this is? Hi, Scotty. <laughs> hey. Where'd you come from? Oh, I came from the north where it's cold and where we have no snow. Oh, well, <laughs> welcome to Tropical Duluth. <laughs> where is that, uh, what do they call that, uh, global warming going on? Is uh, that up in Canada or is it? Nope, right through these doors. Right through these, through, through these doors. Yeah, Look at that. We got a chicken holding our door. Hi, Lisa. Hi. How's it going? Wonderful. Wonderful? Well, I guess we're going to go in here and have a bite to eat. You want to come join us? Well, guys, it is time for supper. Look at that. I got me some nice fish over there. Lisa, what are you having doing? Chili. Chili? Mr. Scotty? Yeah, he's having a sandwich over there, it looks like. Country club. There you go. That's how good supper. Oh, well, here, I. Because I'm. Very bad at oh, oh, hey, see, he says he's very bad at it. Oh, yeah, Can you, you imagine? It oh, yeah, oh, I got it going. It <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we had a good supper, guys, and uh, thank you, Scotty, for uh, supper. Yeah, thanks for stopping. Uh, hey, anytime. So, I'm going to uh, cut the camera here in a little bit, and then I'm going to let him say a few words. And I would just wanted to say thank you for. Uh, you know, going out and having supper with me. Lisa's in the car, she's a little chicken, it's a little chilly out here. But anyways, let me cut the camera and I'll do a single clip on this one. It is time to do some barbecuing again. And uh, we just got down to uh, my buddy over here. Let's check him out. Hey, 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 Walter. Hey, hey. How's it How's going, you doing? buddy? <laughs> good, good, how about you? Oh, I'm doing oh. fantastic. What are you we know, doing? Oh, we have a barbecue. We have a barbecue? Oh, yes. Is, is it cold yet? <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> Minus 50, the barbecue is even better. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, man. And, and we don't have to worry about our beer staying cold, right? Well, that is the, the best thing about it. <laughs> yeah, let's no see. kidding. Let's see what do we have. Yeah. Oh, let's, let's check see. it out, man. Oh, oh holy crap. Holy. Look man, it. oh, man. I wonder. Who is hungry? Yeah, I wonder so, too. Who is the hungriest right now? This is uh, beef, I mean pork ribs. Yeah. 
and chicken thighs. Chicken thighs, eh? Yep. Look I at that. We got it at 240 degrees. I uh, asked my wife today yeah. uh, what she wanted. Uh huh. And she says, I am hungry for chicken thighs. There you and go. Rudy, you know what it means when the boss says chicken thighs, you do it. Yeah. Never say no to the boss. That's because right. Because you don't want to sleep underneath the bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So yeah. That, I had a bad experience from that. You did? Yes. <laughs> because one one time she put me underneath the bed. Uh huh. And then uh, and then uh, the she bed slept on top of it or what? No, the bed broke through. Oh and then my! Her on top of me. So oh my! It is sometimes. Well, I gotta get me a picture of this too, man. This is we gotta send uh, our buddy Tom this, eh? Oh yeah, that would yeah, be. Yeah, look at that. Really for Tom. Right there. And Our buddy Tommy, yeah, uh, maybe we can get him over here one day and uh, have well, I, a have a really not just uh, Tommy. We should uh, where's uh, jukebox? Yeah, where's jukebox at? Yeah, this is one thing. Jukebox always talks big. Yeah, never never, never, shows never shows up. Never shows up. Never. And uh, Tom, <laughs> each time that uh, when uh, when me and you have a barbecue. Oh, I should come to Walter's barbecue. Like, what the heck? Yeah, he never shows up either. Well, that's exactly talking. Yeah, so talking. So, are the people all from uh, from that area? I don't want to say. Anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There he what, is. What, what can we say, that's right? Rudy? These Americans, right? That's exactly. <laughs> but the thing is, we drink American beer. No, so. this is not American. Oh, no, this is a Canadian. You better mm. get it right. Oh, yeah. Because, Mexico, no. <laughs> yeah, because this is not a twisted one. Mm -hmm. So, cheers, guys. Yeah, definitely. Cheers, Rudy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Beautiful oh. weather over here. And uh, you know what, Rudy? I don't know if it is true, but I find out usually the colder that is, mm -hmm. the better the barbecue tastes. I don't know oh, why, yeah. oh, but yeah. cooking it with this, mm -hmm. the, uh, I did uh, pig with this, a whole pig yeah? with uh, minus 38. Nice. And uh, they, it, it just, it is so juicy and uh, I don't know, mm -hmm. they, it, it's, it tastes it's so much better. It does, yeah. When it's hot, it seems like uh, it goes away more or stuff like that. Yeah, you lose all the flavor of it, eh? That's exactly. And that's why me and Rudy, you know what? Minus 50, then we are outside without a hat, <laughs> just sitting outside drinking a beer and having a barbecue. How you like that video I did the other day there where, where I was uh, holding the, the oh, pizza pot? That, that was very, very good. <laughs> I, I figured that I should have been there and we would have made it a bigger joke mm -hmm. there. <laughs> we will definitely do that one day. Yeah, and that's mm -hmm. that's exactly where Tom said, uh, oh yeah, I should, Walter should make a barbecue. Well, well we are. Well, that's what, that's what I mean. <laughs> that's like, what we're doing right here. We are making a barbecue and Tom is not even here. I know. What the heck is up with that, right? I, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? We, we're going to have to do a live show and see mm -hmm. if Tom is coming around because oh. uh, even Jukebox. Mm -hmm. How many times does Jukebox uh, say, oh yeah, one day I'm going to come to Canada. Uh -huh. And the last one I heard from you, it was that he had his passport or something? Or yeah, he has Tom? a passport. Yeah, he, uh, uh, Tom Jukebox? also has a passport now. He's really? already got one now, yeah? He actually went and got one. Tom got a pet. Yeah. He's Tom, got, if yep. you see this, you better. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'll, uh, Rudy is going to give you one day uh, my number, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to uh, get in contact with you, and then if it doesn't work, you're going to pay me and Rudy a trip <laughs> to the States, and then we'll come and show you how to barbecue. <laughs> there we go. I love that. All right, guys. Apparently, I just recently became a wine tester yes and uh what we're talking about is some homemade uh, wine over here mr walter over here he says uh he's uh opening up store over here pretty soon <laughs> <laughs> the, the, have you ever heard from moon shiners moon shiners yes well i've heard of it them kind before of like yeah. That. yeah i have a couple hundred liters of wine in the basement already. oh don't don't tell I them don't too soon i don't drink very much wine but no. i like to make it yeah, yeah, yeah. This is grape wine. Mm -hmm. It's uh, in October. This one is in September, but that's grape wine. This nice. is raspberry wine. Raspberry? This is apple wine. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. So what I, wanted, what I want you to do now. All right. I am trying different wine from the grape wine. Mm. I'm trying the hot mix. 
Hot mix? And I'm trying the cold mix. All right. So I want you to test some wine for me and tell me which one is which best. one do you like better? Yeah. So I'll See, I told you guys that I was going to become a wine tester. Uh-huh. So Let's take a look. What this is, this is the cold mix. All right. And this is the hot mix. All right. So what I'm talking about, cold mix and a hot mix, this is what cold water and the sugar also cold. This, I made it with hot water and the, and the sugar, I cooked it first, and then I put it in. So All right. this is the cold mix, so try that one. You guys are going to do that with me, right? Oh. And this is blue grape. Blue grape, eh? Blue grape. And that's a hot mix now. Let's see what that one. So what do you think? What would the best be for you? I think that one, the hot mix there is better. The hot mix. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I have... Uh, apple wine is what I did before. Mm -hmm. It was cold mix, but now I did a hot mix. And my wife tells me I had never before such a good wine. I'll give <laughs> you to taste a little bit. The apple yeah. Wine. See, I told you I became a, a taste tester. This is now. the apple wine, <laughs> and this is our secret recipe. What yeah. me and my wife figured out by ourselves. Mm -hmm. He's but gonna me, give it to me soon. Oh yeah. They, <laughs> they think it's the wine. I'll give it to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But this is the apple wine, and it, oh, it this has is the good. taste for the apple. Oh, ho, ho. And we learned mm -hmm. uh, uh, what to do with this after, I don't know, three, four hundred liters of uh, wine mm -hmm. and trying to make it better and better. But I'm still experimenting. And if somebody has very good wine recipes, please send them to me. Ask Rudy for my number or email or whatever. Send it to me. Mm -hmm. I like to make wine, but I don't drink very much wine. That's Sorry, right. Sorry, guys. That's my, why I come over here. My, exactly. <laughs> this is my wine, what I like the most. But I don't like to make beer. That there I don't. you go. Yeah, beer is kind of hard to make. Yeah. Very hard to make. I have a buddy of mine. He does it a little bit, but the beer... It still doesn't taste as it's supposed yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. And I that's why I like said it's hard. Very, very hard. Wine is much easier. Yeah. It is easier. The, the, the biggest thing is it's my hobby. Yeah. It is the days when I'm tired or stuff like that when I can work with my wine and, and try this out a little bit, that yeah, out. Yeah. And even what I tried out now, I made it grapefruit wine. Yeah. And orange wine. Nice. So my next one it's gonna be banana wine. Ooh. Yep. That's you guys, the next one. You guys got to come out here and check out his wine, guys. Tom and the Jude Box. Mm -hmm. If you guys want be wine, you guys have already your uh, passports, mm -hmm. come and see me and Rudy. There you go. Then we'll have a barbecue on to top it all. Oh, yeah. Rudy. What? Next weekend, do you have time for going ice fishing? Uh, we might, yeah. Oh, we're going to mm -hmm. go ice fishing next weekend. If you have time, you're invited. I, I am. We're going to discuss that right now. You know now. <laughs> how that's called? It calls Man's Night Out. Ah. <laughs> all right. All right. We got uh, Jasko, right? Yeah. Jasko. Jasko must get out of here. Get out. We had it. Oh, there, Shine. That's your bazaar, Shine. You know what he What the water here, Rasla? What the water here, all the summer, Rasla? You have to wait for your question. Oh, no. Wow. Look at that. Look at guys! Oh, oh, that is the chicken thighs. Uh huh. It's just so perfectly done. Oh Dude. yeah! Look at that, eh? We're gonna yeah. have us an awesome, awesome barbecue. I tell you. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be phenomenal. Oh, I can't wait to have that. I'm telling you guys, I'm hungry right now. You should try this. Oh, I, I, I gotta try this. Mmm. Hmm. hmm. Mm-hmm. This is some good stuff right here. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh my. Uh, uh -huh. I can't even talk. Rudy. Uh-huh. Jasko has to try this. Oh, look at that, man. Eh? Look at Jasko. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice, eh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There we go. It's so tender, it wants to fall uh -oh. off the bone. It just yeah. wants to come straight up. Uh-huh. This is... Well, it looks like when you cook by minus 50. That's right. That's I right. I mean, close enough. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> you know what we mean. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they mean what we know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyways, we're going to put this in the pot, and we're going to go inside and have some nice supper. <laughs> 